Hi. In this video, I would like to show you how to export interactive panoramas from Corona Renderer using a very cool script called Panorama Exporter, created by one of our forum members, Dead Clown. So, the first thing you need to do is to download this script. You can find the link in the description of this video. And then you have to prepare a scene that will be rendered as panorama. So, this is the scene. And this is what we will be trying to achieve. So it's an interactive panorama. Um, you can run it in your web browser. And as you can see, we can look around. And it's, it's like being uh, inside of a sphere, which is textured with the rendered image. So let's get back to 3ds Max. And I have prepared this really simple interior scene. So we can take a look around. This is what it looks like. There are some random objects, some lights. There is skylight and sunlight. Okay. And when you are creating such scenes, you have to remember about few things. So the first thing is that your camera will be the center of the panorama. So you will be viewing the panorama from the exact point where your camera is placed. So if you move your camera, the panorama will look slightly different. So this is the first thing. Another thing is that your horizon must be in the middle. So you cannot move your camera up or down like this. It has to be exactly leveled. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is just use a free camera and create it in one of the viewports. So, like this. So it won't be rotated. Okay. Another thing you have to remember is to use correct width and height of the rendered image. And as you can see, image aspect is 2. So width is two times higher than height. So we can use, this is slightly too little. We should use uh, more pixels. So for example, 4K should be enough. 4000 per 2000. Okay. But, but this would be enough for our testing purposes. And the last thing, you need to enable is Corona Camera Mode. So let's select our camera. Let's go to Modifiers and find Corona Camera Modifier. Okay. Uh, this modifier adds some settings to the to the to the active camera, and we have to enable Projection Override and make make it spherical. Okay, so what happens now if you render is that you are getting a spherical image Okay, and this is the type of image you can use with the panorama exporter. So now I will cancel this. This won't be a high quality rendering, but again this is just to show you how it works. And now we only have to find the script, Panorama Exporter. Okay, I will just grab it and drop it inside of one of our viewports. Okay, then there is this little window with some options. So this is the name of your panorama. You can change it to whatever you like. So for example, let's call this Art Gallery. And this is the path to the where all the exported files will be stored. So I will save it here. Okay. And now you can choose to either pick a JPEG file. So I can, for example, save this image and then load it here. 
or we can use the image that is stored inside of the frame buffer. So I will select this one, Corona VFB. You can change quality here. You can show Corona logo in the left, center, or right of the screen. Uh, you can enable the rotation of the view. So one will be rotation to the right and minus one will be rotation to the left. And you can enable or disable zoom. So now I will just click generate files and it will take the image from Corona vir virtual frame buffer and save it as an interactive panorama. Okay, and let's see the result. Uh, it's called Art Gallery, as I call this. And when I open it, you can see that it's really bad quality, but this is only because uh, I have rendered this in low resolution. As I said, something like 4K, 4000 pixels width should be enough. But, but you can see that it works, and it's super easy to set up. So I think that's all, so thanks for watching.